After months of campaigning, the three candidates for Evansville mayor are now waiting for votes to be counted. Eyewitness News' Cindy Davis has more on Democrat Stephanie Terry, Libertarian Michael Doherty, and Republican Natalie Rasher. The voters are, have seen all the all the debates and they're ready for change. The last three weeks or so has been very busy. Of course, we've had all of the different candidate forums and the debates. You're stretched, you know, very thin, um, but today is going to be a fun day. It's officially election day in Evansville and officials greeted voters as they poured in to have their voice heard. At the Washington Square Mall polling location, Evansville residents expressed positive feelings surrounding the anticipation of their casted ballots. They made their choices for several municipal positions, including city council members, city clerks, and of course, mayor. I've learned that, um, that when you stay true to yourself um, and listen to people and surround yourself with good people, that you'll, you have so much more energy and drive uh, to, to succeed. And the thing that really opened my eyes is finding the details that most citizens don't understand and just sharing that with all of the citizens. So that has been enjoyable. Getting to know different residents, understanding more about their questions and concerns, that's been a very valuable lesson. To have a say in the race for mayor, voters must live within the city limits, something poll workers informed us required them to turn away a few people. One thing's for sure, the outcome of today's mayoral race will be written in history as each candidate's success will result in firsts for the city. This is a true David versus Goliath battle and uh, I'm fighting the, the establishment and the money. This has been an amazing journey and I'm just so grateful for uh, having this experience more than anything. Now it's just you know the last day and I'm hoping to see a lot of people show up and vote. If Democratic candidate Stephanie Terry wins, for the first time in 12 years, the mayor's office will return to the Democrats. If Natalie Ray wins, she'll become the first Republican to succeed another Republican in a race since 1872. And if Michael Doherty wins, he'll be the first third-party candidate to win the race ever. If chosen, both Terry and Rasher will be the first women in history to hold the position. And we're looking forward to the results coming in this evening. I think I fought the good fight. You can come out here and, you know, we'll be here six to six, so. In Evansville, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.